How's it going, YouTube? Now we're back here today. I'm trying to get these daily vlogs to work. I think I finally found a good method to transfer the files from my phone to my computer for free. Um, every other service I'm trying to find, iCloud, I'd have to spend money on. Uh, Dropbox, I'd have to spend money on. And I don't really want to do that unless uh, I can justify the spending, which at this point I really can't. Like, even a dollar a month with the iCloud upgrade, I just really don't need to do that for what is essentially a hobby now. If in a few years I start making a little bit of money on YouTube, Maybe, but for now, we're going to stick with just the free options. But for now, uh, I'm going to show you guys the inventory room that I've reorganized. Made it a lot cleaner. Still not great, but a lot better. And um, then we're going to package up one more thing before we go to the post office and then go thrifting for a little bit. So here's a new room. Um, I got a disc only there that I need to get resurfaced. Got my dog here. Hi, Jack Jack. Uh, this is where I'm taking pictures, but I'm going to probably change this because sitting down taking pictures is not great for my back. Um, underneath that is stuff I'm going to trade locally to someone who's also a reseller that has... Uh, he's opening more things, and the profit on those games aren't worth it. The Xbox, uh, I can't get a power cable to fit in it. Um, this Xbox, I'm just trying to find an HDMI cable for cheap to sell. Uh, still got some stuff under the bed, not as much. And bam, look, I got some storage tubs. So this is my Amazon pile. I'm going to hopefully get this shipped out uh, tomorrow, at least packed up today. But yeah, and there's some more Amazon stuff in the corner there. But i got my tubs. i got uh, books and DVDs, like books and movies, basically. Video game tub, toys and board games, and then kind of tech stuff. Um, I still have some collection stuff and then stuff for eBay in this closet. So yeah, this is all collection stuff. That's all resale stuff. So it's not great, but it's much improved. I don't have piles on the floor. You can't keep walking here. It's better. It's something clean. And we got one thing to pull out of the video game tub. This is probably not as quick as before, but it's for the organization. It just, it looks so much better. I'm more motivated because of it. So we can get to the GameCube games, which I think are back here. And it's this empty case, I believe. Yeah, empty case for Lord of the Rings. That's sold for seven dollars. I think it was only like a dollar into that game, so not bad. But yeah, I've been selling a ton lately. Like not high dollar items, but I found a ton of games for like two, three bucks. Buy in bulk at pawn shops, and they're selling for about eight to ten. So turning three dollars into five constantly, it's I think it's an okay way to jumpstart the business, but let's get this packed up and let's go to the, uh, I'll show you, bleh. let's get this packed up and then head out, drop off stuff at the post office, because I think Monday post office is closed, so it's my last day to get inventory out, and then we'll go thrifting in Belgrade. All right, so I'm done. Uh, the post office closed on one on Saturday, so I can't get stuff there. And it's a little bit too late in the day. I, I gotta work at six, going out to Belgrade. I'll be see rushing there, rushing through the stores, rushing back to pick up my fiance. And you know, it'd be, it'd be not a uh, fun environment. So I think I'm just gonna hold it off until tomorrow or Monday. I'll see if the pawn shop is still open Sunday. I know the one thrift store out there is closed. They, they're only open like three days a week, so it's hard to hit there. But I'll show you what I got the Bozeman Goodwill at least. I got two Mega Man books for Amazon. Um, can sell them used. These are in very good condition. They're uh, mangas, I believe. Yeah, uh, only ninety cents each. I'm gonna make uh, two to three bucks on them each. Not huge profit, but you know, I'm gonna pay for a big box. The shipping's gonna be almost nothing on them. It's just kind of like space filler, honestly. Like you know, I could fill that space with bubble wrap and you know, uh, void filler, or I could fill it with a book that sells for money. And the other thing I got was this sony dream machine um i have to be careful i might have to return this one because it has an old goodwill sticker still on it so from like 2016 i don't know how they got on there but um if it was returned because it didn't work i'm gonna also do the same i feel like if it's from that long ago though that's either just like i'm guessing someone maybe bought it and then returned it years later did not return but just donated it again but yeah, make sure it works. It's it was two bucks. It sells on eBay for about yeah, it's selling between like fourteen and eighteen somewhere in that range with free shipping. So should make uh hopefully close to 
10 on that because uh, definitely go padded flat rate. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to go home though today. Maybe work on that Amazon shipment. We'll see. All right, we're back home, YouTube. Um, went to work at GameStop, second to last shift there. Much better than last week. Last week I had someone yell at me for not knowing what type of Roku he had, because whatever. But this one I had someone who we just talked about retro games, and he talked about corporations. He worked at Staples. We kind of compared and contrasted the company policies and stuff, and he ended up like buying some cheap games, getting the GPGs because he knew it helped us, which was really awesome. Like the fact that he went out of his way to help this this store. But um, what he did say is we were talking about retro games, and he said he had like a Sega CD and a, a few games with that. I was like, man. I got six CD, I haven't found any games for it. He mentioned possibly working on a deal, said he'll it's in storage, I'll bring it back next week, so like most collections, it's in storage. Probably not gonna see that. But you know, we'll see next week. I am happily surprised. Uh I did find one get one more thing to resell. I got a very nice copy of Pokemon XD. Um it's not perfect, there's some flaws in the case. I'd say it's pretty in like very good condition though, just looks great, I'm gonna test it. Picks up for 30, sells about 50, so I should make hopefully 15 to 20 off of it after he, if he's in shipping. Um, we did sell two more things while I was gone, so let's get this packed up, get this listed, and then work on my Amazon shipment. And this is everything else that's sold today. Um, Animal Crossing New Leaf finally sold, got H99. I say finally, I think I listed that two days ago. And this one, actually, NBA 2K12 Game of the Year Edition. One of those sports games that might be worth looking out. Uh, I got $12.99 free shipping on this one. And price charting doesn't have a listing for the 360. At least, I couldn't see one. I might be dumb. It has it for the PS3. But, anywho, yeah. This one comes with a poster, too. So, I think if you find out the poster for cheap, might be worth picking it up. I don't know. I paid, like, $3 at Goodwill for this. 12 it's worth the flip for me alrighty that's to do for me today guys I'm gonna play some Tokyo Mirage sessions tonight and relax um, and hold up to Amazon stuff a little bit later because I need more boxes for 360s and I need the stickers to do not separate on them so I'll deal with that at a later date but for now leave a like if you enjoyed uh, if you didn't let me know why in the comments down below and if you have any questions ask them down there I'll answer them and we'll see you next time. Peace out.